want to show a couple of little, little life hacks. Put a little uh, paint on that and solder yourself a, a eighth to quarter jacket. Lifesaver. Lifesaver, I swear. Wanted to show my bass drum. We've got output of the mixer. And I'm sending that over. Oh, I'll run on this guy. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put two XLRs there. And I drew that. And uh, I mean, it just looks like a character. <laughs> So, yeah, I haven't cut it yet. <laughs> All right. Cool. And this will be my clock in. Take output. Of Strega inputs here and volume is here. So, excellent. I want to turn that up.
that's going on. Do a little less abrupt. Less volume. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. So we've got clock in, and all these are four switches. So if I had clock go in, this would let the clock through momentarily. Uh, momentarily, or always. Then this is going directly to just an LED. It's just it's kind of a nice little thing that looks cool, um, helps helps me see what's going on <clears throat> mm. some sort of fruit tea I'm not sure what I'm drinking right now I get the variety pack that's clearly not why you're here um, alright so that feeds the clock to uh, Integra Solum which is the noise engineering and all I'm using that for is just the every other although you could easily switch that to different variations it does a few different things Can, so you know let's see what that does add the side chain in so every time this one clicks out of the eight it'll hit uh, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. So let's just start with the bass drum. the clock and the clock sends uh, over to the malt this is just one malt and these both go into here so they're just triggers on and off so if I want them on to trigger this or to trigger this from so that's how that works and that's the trigger here and uh, this is the output, and uh, so the output I have the distortion. So, output to distortion, and so clean it sounds like this. So, this is the kick call. You know, it's, it's pretty cool, it's not too bad. So, Uh, but I, uh, I like to distort the bass drum, and then it goes to filter. So this is a, and this is the length. So like you get some real cool stuff if you do like this is a low pass filter. about resonance but I've never felt I, I've never liked resonance I, it just kind of makes it squeaky to me maybe I'm not doing it right I don't know but I like low pass 
noise filter. Heavy, heavy distortion and then LP. Alright, and then output. We got that going just to the own channel. Okay. And then um, all I have here. So this is a VCA, and there's two CVs in it and CV in. And uh, the first one is just this, which I'm always going to leave up. I'm essentially opening up this VCA. And then on the CV2, I have, um, well, essentially, we have uh, an ADSR uh, here that's being triggered here. So to hear that, when the sound comes off, so if, it sends, uh, well, it's triggered here. And then this sends the CV to a reverse, it's making it a negative slope. So let me see what do instead of the normal, okay? And then that sends it to the uh, VCA. And I have had uh, some struggle with a couple other VCAs that didn't go negative, and I'm not really sure if that was just me. Uh, there were a couple that I built, so it could very well be um, just my mistake. Anyways, and so then we have the signal in, which is the Strega, and then the signal out to the mixer. And that is, uh, that's my bass drum. So, I just thought I'd show you that. Uh, I'm going to jam a little bit more, and then... Uh, Let's, uh, you know, let's just, uh, see all right? Okay, that's it. All right. Cool. So, act B. I, uh, built a malt into the side of this. <laughs> 